Hello, thanks very much for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, this is quite a interesting review because I never uh, usually review a beer twice. I've done it a couple of times but it's because the beer's been off and I've got a replacement bottle. Anyway, enough of that. This is um, beer from the Moore uh, Beer Company. It's their Norhop. Now, this beer was previously called the Northern Star. Uh, due to uh, the fact that another brewery um, had a beer uh, called Northern Star, um, whether there was a court case or whatever, you are, I have no idea whether it went that far or whatever. But anyway, they, they changed the name uh, to Norhop. Um, now, I reviewed this beer quite early on in my um, beer reviewing career. I'm going to call it a career because um, it's quite important to me. Um, but I don't think I gave it. A 10 out of 10 um, well I can remember it being fantastic now I've had this on cask and um, it, it was just just so good it really was so good so anyway I'll give you some information and carry on like a normal review and probably blab on at the end of it like a lunatic anyway it's the Norhop from uh, more beer company it's 4.3 percent ABV bottle conditioned um, once again Moore's bit labels are just Sublime. There, that's you know that's how I should label should be. Um, sorry, the lighting has gone pretty dull in here because it's uh, the middle of oh it's the first of July today and uh, as usual it's probably going to rain. Um, there's the information on the bottle. If you can pick that, hopefully it will pick that up. Drink more beer as usual, obviously. Uh, brown 660 ml bottle, 4.3% ABV. Um, I didn't pick this up when I first reviewed it because. Um, I was a little bit naive about beer and wasn't sure really what was going on but 4.3% massively sessionable and um, you know anyway let's crack it open but look how full I don't know if you can see look how full that bottle is you get a full 660 in there plain gold crown 660 mil that's great because it means I can review it and there's still enough left to drink later I've had this in the fridge for a while and I've poured it out, I've taken it out about an hour ago to let it warm back up again. Don't know why, but I quite like, I don't like my beers to be too cold. Um, now looking at that, Moores believe in not using finings in their beers, which I totally agree with. Um, it's not completely clear, but it's lovely and straw coloured. Nice little bit of carbonation there, pure white, finger and a half, nice foamy head. Not much sticking to the side of the glass, that's probably my washing up skills rather than the beer. Um, but yeah, let's get the nose. Now that, that, that just smells like I want to live in it. I mean, if I could be a merman, um, I, I would want to swim in an ocean of this. That smells so, so good. Um, Fred from West Country Ales, who actually I forgot to mention at the start of this uh, review, westcountryales.co.uk check them out make sure you do um, this is his favorite beer um, or I think one of his favorite beers this is his favorite session beer I think and you could just sit there and smell this all day that smells you're getting those lovely tropical fruits it's grapefruity it smells like a really good American um, IPA or pale ale. It's zesty, it's fresh. It's just absolute, it's a delight to inhale the smell from this beer. Oh, that smells so, so good. It's just, oh, I can't even put into words how good the smell of this beer makes you feel. It's just beautiful, juicy, fresh, zesty fruitiness. I've probably said fruity a couple of times in that, but it really is beautiful. I'm gonna have to dig into this. It is the law. I hope the lighting on this video is okay. I've got a few lights on in the background. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> it 
it's so light but full of flavour. It's so zesty. It's unbelievably sessionable. It's dry, it's crisp. You're getting that massive grapefruity zestiness. Like I said, I didn't impress this fact enough when I reviewed it the first time, because like I say, I was slightly naive. But the flavor you get for 4.3%, th this beer should be on cask in every pub in Britain. It's just so good. And you could see, you want to session it all night. I can understand why Fred um, uh, drinks so much of this, and I'm sure many other people do, because you get those real good qualities of um, of an IPA or a pale ale. But at 4.3%, you know, it's just... I'm gonna read the bottle. This individual beer is one of a small batch, proudly handcrafted and bottled by Justin Hawke at Moorbank Beer Company, Chapel Court, Pitney, Somerset, UK. More about more at www.moorbeer.co.uk. Join in the banter at twitter.com forward slash drink more beer. Ingredients, malt, hops, yeast, water, contains gluten. Um, uh, it's the Norhop, uh, oh yeah, style golden ale. Let's see, they call it a golden ale. See, I'd say it's a pale ale more. But um, anyway, um, C, ultra pale. Well, there you go. Uh, smell, citrus and tropical fruits. Oh, yeah, massively. Uh, taste, citrus and tropical fruits. Honeyed malt. Not really getting honey malt on it. Um, it reminds me of um, the uh, Magic Rock. Oh, I really wish I looked it up. I can't even remember the name of it now. Um, one of the Magic Rock beers, very popular, very good beer. Um, can't, I can't even, can't even think of it now. No, I think it, no, it's gone. It's gone. Um, but that's a very good beer as well. Uh, bottled with live use. It's bottle conditioned. This. Uh, so, um, but I mean, look, I mean, so much left in the bottle. I love these 660 ml bottles. I'm gonna whack the rest in there. Like I say, you 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 normally pour it in one straight go to avoid disturbing the yeast. But um, yeah, no, there's just a slight yeast cloud on the bottom. I don't think you're gonna pick it up, but there's a slight bit of yeast sediment left in the bottom. Cloud it up very slowly, still nice and straw colour. Like I say, that should be on cask in every bar in the UK or every pub in the UK. I'd be so happy to drink that all the time. It's just got such a fantastic, that lovely, bitter, juicy, tropical um, flavour. It's just fantastic. If you haven't tried this beer, nor hop, or they, I, I imagine they're not selling Northern Star at all, you've got to go out and try it. You really have. It's just, that's just what, to me, that's the future of beer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the good old fashioned uh, uh, styles of beer, but this really is just so Moorish. <laughs> that was a pun without trying that. I really love this beer. I bought three bottles, so I'm quite happy. Um, I'm not going to drink them all tonight. Well, I'd like to. Um, that's that. I mean, I, I gave that a nine out of ten in my original review, and that, that I, I'm now going to up that to a ten out of ten. That's purely down to the fact that I'm a little bit more experienced of um, what, uh, what 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 about beers. Um, I, I still, like I said, I'll never be an expert because um, it's just too much to learn. But um, that's that's a ten out of ten beer. Want it again? Go out and try it. Buy it. It's just you, you've you've got to try this beer. You really have to. It's just 
it's just amazing. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks to Fred for uh, stocking and supplying these beers. Thanks for Justin at Moors for brewing it. Um, I, if you're watching Justin, I'd really, really love to come down and have a brewery tour, um, or you know, just come and have a chat with you really about uh, how you managed to brew such fantastic beers. Um, once again, love to see your comments in the comments box, and I'll catch you on the next review. Cheers.